guys welcome back to my channel we are going to be doing a first impression on the bh cosmetic foundation this is the bh cosmetics liquid foundation liquid foundation this is naturally flawless and this is the foundation i don't know if it's, this is new but it's new to me just by looking at them i think this is going to be a little too dark for me this is the other one we're not going to try this because this is way too dark it's a little too red so this one is 230 warm ebony 24 available foundation on the auto website the darkest shade is 233 warm espresso that's what i really love bh cosmetic for because they cater for all skin tone and if you're looking for a foundation you definitely will find your shade in that range it helps keep skin hydrated and young looking this foundation provides lightweight medium to full coverage and a naturally satin finish and comes in multiple shades to flatter multiple skin tones, there is a perfect match for you. The BH Cosmetic website always have sales, so if you want a little discount, I would suggest you purchase it from there. Let me just show you guys the bottle. This is very breakable, if you guys are wondering, and it comes with a pump. I actually pumped it out already because I wanted to see what it looks like, but it looks a little dark on my hand. My hands are actually darker than my face. I don't really go by that. And when I put it on my face, we're gonna see. And I actually use my favorite primer. This is from MAC. This is the Prep and Prime. So I'm gonna take a little bit on my brush and I'm gonna take one pump because this is really thick. I'm gonna take this much. So this is what it is. It's a little too red. I'm actually gonna return it if it's a little too dark to try to get my actual shade. And I thought that this foundation would work, but this is still a bit too, too red. I'm not gonna go for a full coverage because if I do go for a full coverage, I would have to put more foundation on. So this is a medium coverage. If you guys want to go full coverage, just make sure that you get your, your shade and you could do that. But I'm gonna stop right here because I only will go for a medium and this looks very, very flawless on me. It looks really dark, but that's okay. This is what the foundation looks like. I really do like it. It's very lightweight. So this is the Candy Concealer from Revlon. looking a little much better when I put the concealer on I just want to fix this just to see how it looks I know this is not my shade I'm gonna go back online and try to figure this out because I really do like this foundation and I'm gonna take this the setting powder this is also from Revlon I'm gonna set my face also I'm gonna take my favorite face powder this is from iman cosmetic though this powder is very full coverage so that's why i really do like to use this in my videos i haven't found one that is pretty good like this yet i have a few but this is one is my favorite so i'm going to put a little bit on my face so you guys can see what i do is i take some of that powder and i put it under the eyes so you won't see that white setting powder under my eyes see it's gone i just start looking at the foundation and it's really oxidizing actually more so i'm gonna go ahead with the setting powder i'm just going to put it over the face when the foundation sit on my face it turns into that dewy finish and I'm actually seeing the darkness. When I put my setting powder, this is the same setting powder that I use under the eyes. So this look like an actual matte face. I don't mind the dewy, but I'm just trying to get rid of the redness and I could show you guys how to work with it. But whenever it sits on the face, it turns back into that dark. I don't even know what else to do. But Try to see if I could figure out my shade on the website because this is my second time ordering this foundation. I don't remember which shade that I picked up. It was way too light. I thought that it would have been a little much better, but it oxidized. And that's one of the things that I told you guys in the beginning because this foundation is a really nice full coverage foundation. You just have to study the shades and try to figure it out. This is 
deep beige and this is too red i will recommend this foundation for you guys try the foundation out see what works for you like i said in the beginning you only can get them on the website you can't get them at the store let me know in the comments what you guys think about the shade let me know how this look did i do a good job fixing this what you guys recommend please let me know in the comments below i'm open to anything i will see you guys in my next video thank you guys for watching bye